Hello, Pedro Sosa. Pedro just using the RG deck, but it looks like he swapped in Mega Minion. Is this the first time that we've seen Mega Minion swapped into this RG deck Pedro, this weekend? Uh, you might absolutely be right there. I'm 100% pretty sure Mega Minion did receive a small hit speed buff. So sad. Not too long ago, along with the Phoenix death damage nerf. By the way, more mess that in But more importantly, or most more like, oh my God, the tornado! Ooh, the what tornado! The fuck do you? I had to pause for a second. The tornado <gasps> on the monk here, pulling it back, getting the giant skeleton to connect to the tower. That was ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's great. But also, this is just going to be a phenomenal counter push for Pedro. It's going to be giving up a lot of damage, but this is where it gets really weird. So yes, you're getting a lot of damage. Yes, you got a giant skeleton to the uh, to the tower, but it, wow, I don't know how well this tornado. deck works in two tower situations. You almost can't afford to do that, even with the knowledge that your giant skeleton gets to the tower. Two tower situation, he might struggle with the king tower helping out for the drills. That's a really good point. I definitely think that Pedro with the roll giant, roll giants in the pocket can be huge has a big advantage if this does go to double towers on the other hand sosa maybe up a little bit of elixir after the interaction as well so if he can continue this and uh use this for his advantage as, or basically make it so this if, if he can make it so this isn't a tower down situation i think this is a positive net game for him yeah, and now that we're heading into overtime, it's totally okay, as long as he doesn't give that up. So 1076 to 1136, and I mean, it, it's just the battle of no big spell versus big spell. So can he get the value with these monks, with these fishermen? I'd like to see just fishermen cycled from Pedro because it gets so much value in this matchup. Everything just needs to be placed behind the King Tower, stack as much as you possibly can. Pedro's attacking this exactly how he should. Yeah, that's a great point. Fisherman gets a lot of value versus everything here. The only way that Sosa can really counteract that is maybe getting the Electrovis to lock onto it, or maybe a Tornado to prevent too much full value. Really good Monk ability timing from Pedro as well here. Doing a great job of oh. counteracting the Magic Archer. Oh, and, and that could just be game. The fisherman locks onto the Ewis instead of the giant skeleton. The hunter helping out two fishermen on the board. Drill on defense. You never want to see that. And RG plus drill. Can the RG make it to the tower? 327, two fireballs away if he chooses to go that way. But he also could just choose to monk, activate, and it could be game right there. Sosa not going to play another card. And Pedro up 1-0-4. So, to become keep support, the recipient of the golden ticket this month. To One step closer to being a zero final. But world finalist if, for Pedro here. I mean, it, I gotta uh, be excited for him. Sosa's gotta win the next two games if he wants to get yeah. a reverse sweep. If so, uh, we we will go to the kiss mode to the CI final. And you know, the last instantly last month, the value that can cause the damage in the game. Pedro just wants to clean it up, it, make it a 2-0, make man, himself and not have to man, worry this, about that. Pedro, in here. response, he no, only man, has man, three elixir. What is he going to do? This hog is, is so much value. The snowball brand. finally comes yeah. out, but the hog still on the tower. Yeah. A yeah. terrible yeah. start for Pedro, yeah. especially because we and know Pedro uses the miners, the mortars, the wall breakers. He can't really win so a sad. game once oh, he's down. Pedro. And that's exactly what we saw with game number two against Muhammad Light. Just too much damage to be giving up early game. And a lot of it comes down. Oh, okay, okay. So Pedro is going to be using the loon. So he still has a shot to be able to come back. This is a much better situation than he usually is when he gives up early leads. I'm trying to think what just happened there. Why was Pedro down so much elixir so the hog got so much value? And I guess maybe part of it is not having the bomb tower in the starting end. Maybe he got starting handed a little bit. The other issue there was just maybe some over defense versus the ice sprint left. He used three elixir archers on that. Everything being said, you're absolutely right. This Giant Slayer Loon deck has the potential to be able to break through and make the comeback that he needs. But looking already like Sosa's taking game two here. Very quick and concise all connections here.
Well, and this brings up a topic that I've seen on Twitter uh, a lot, and I, I want to hear your thoughts on the matter. So, a lot of people were talking about minor first play just being a bad play in general. Interesting. Do, do you agree with that? It, it, a lot of players are saying it just allows your opponent to set up for uh, a three, a, a free three elixir. I think they, they just spent nine elixir, and so so only spent game. guards ice spear. Like that, that is too much that's elixir to be giving up. So sad. Early game. Yeah. Like that. Petro. You're absolutely right, and you know maybe that's it's so sad. kind of you're an evolution of CR moment. Maybe people are going to start talent. realizing, and especially and after the oh, minor oh, uh, oh, crown tower oh, damage oh, nerf, that it's maybe not the best first play here. And Definitely seems like that's the case in this situation. 33 seconds left, Up going two. in with the Monk guards in the middle, not going to allow his opponent to even get off a loom push is the goal for Sosa. And the cool thing about this, he can place troops in the middle, take the aggro from both players, and he can just have everything hang out on his side if he had chosen to do so. That's not the method of choice for him. Uh, we're gonna see a bomb tower that that's late. It's right not now? going to matter, I don't think, no but it absolutely right. could. Where I see Piri? Snowball though? He needs Ice two comes. more shots in three seconds. That's not enough. Oh wow. my. <gasps> GG's, well played to Sosa there. A little bit late on the bomb tower at the end. It got close, but overall solid plays nonetheless. We're heading into game three, ladies and gentlemen. This is the third and final match to see who gets what? the golden ticket and gets the guaranteed $20,000 at the Sierra World Finals along with the second place okay, prize in this close. monthly finals. And so sad. What about And so what something to look at, Pedro. Right I mean, it, it's something that we can overanalyze, but he used the earthquake with Talk only leaking point one elixir he's just starting the next game i don't know if that shows a good mentality or a so poor sad. mentality but right there just getting this aggressive early on and so is likely going to be using the mk like, uh, prince minor deck that's not guaranteed like, but at this point four cards in uh, I'm, I'm thinking mega it might nine. be guaranteed prince. yeah mega nine prince of the bottom pedro <laughs> with a minor. hard earthquake deck there. Miner coming in from Sosa right now, tanking for this Arcane Ice Spear, gonna drop. No, wait, come on. Here. Count the actual I think the biggest thing to first. mention Bandit? in this deck no, wait, no, is wait, the use of the bats to force out so much of the <sighs> Look at that. Oh, now the Bandit so connects sad. the right hand side. Just because, because Bandit had to overcommit on the left with the Musketeer. Bandit's because what of just not what having the correct the What the game? And we see the look of disgust <laughs> looking away <laughs> from the screen. I know I've done that time. to my own gameplay uh, several times. It's so Musketeer moment. locks onto the tower, getting it down to 22, 36. <coughs> and yes, Sosa got a great first push. Why? But MK Freeze. can Chronic struggle. Tower. Uh, you know, trying to Freeze. mix Cannot in see. the offense and defense against Water, these mortar decks. Sure. And right there, another sure. mistake. Prince yeah. locks on the mortar instead of the minor wow. miner. And well, instead of being forced to spend, player. you know, the Archer Good. Queen or the MK in response to the mortar, it, the mortar off. just May dies I? just like that. So great situation for Sosa, <laughs> even though he is giving up another bit that of damage with that only one Like we talked about, these That's are two, like, not, you know, kind of rookie players, for lack of a better word. And we're seeing the nerves really come out in this match. A lot of mistakes here, a lot of damage coming through. You know, 1386 on the left, 1700 on the right. Sosa needs to clean it up here if he wants to make the comeback to have a chance at this match. It's on ABT. Activating the ability perfectly, taking out all the guards, the border, nice, and staying alive care. for it, uh, for it to take lying. out the musketeer as well and create another response. So great one archer clean right you. there. Opposite lane wall breakers pressure, and this is the great thing about these mortar decks. You can just defend the wall breakers with the mortar, and that's okay. Yes, your mortar is only half health. But a lot of the times, either your mortar connects or it doesn't, so you don't even need that much health. High progressive play, Mega Knight Prince of the Bridge, Hog and Ops lane to pressure while defending perfect ice spirit plus musketeer wow, combo. Musketeer and the Hog is the shot, and Sosa is out zero damage there in that situation. Really good plays from Pedro. I think he's the one really starting so to log we in have here. Pretty much up and now. there we go. Pedro. This is what I talked about when you're playing against More a deck lie. without any big spells. I think so. Going for the defensive mortar, super useful here. It's just going to get a lot of value in general. Yeah, that defense was so clean. You have the MK and the Prince on the right side. You only have Elixir for the Musk and the Mighty Miner. You activate the ability. You get enough Elixir for the Ice Spirit. That was a clinic on how you want to defend that. 
And at this point, it is so difficult for him to get past this defense. It, he it, he is just locking everything Stop down off. with gorgeous gameplay. Hog wow. again wow. gets a shot. Yes. You wow. can't afford to do that. Goodbye. Seems like the so hog sad. is always going connecting to here for Pedro. Pedro. Playing fantastic so on the defense as well, using the hog to kite Lisa. everything backwards. Archer Queen, Mega Knight on the counter push. This could Lisa be Lisa. decent. The Mighty Miners out of cycle as well. Let's Lisa. see what Pedro Lisa. can do here. Watch up the red fire. Watch That's the over the top, trying to get Pedro value with the miner on top of the okay, musketeer, and, and that is a mistake right there. You cannot afford to go in with a miner when you don't have the elixir for the art arrows. I've seen that happen way too often with all types of pros all across the board. That that is just a mistake you cannot make. Yeah, especially in this point where you need to make that comeback, you have to have enough elixir to go for the prediction arrows there. Wow, and I think this is going to be it. Hog getting to the tower again. You cannot stop it. Pedro with the 2-1, the golden Pedro. ticket winner. And you see, see you the smile on, on his face. Final. He knows that one final game, this year. that one best of three is worth twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars 25000 uh, right uh, there. You see how happy he is. I love so to see the emotion. I'm so happy for him. Congratulations, Congratulations to Pedro winning Pedro. the golden ticket. He still has his match versus Muhammad.